hey guys welcome back so guys this is the third part of the video which we are going to edit the and update the data that is department category list okay so guys uh, the fetching and the insertion of the data it's done in the previous videos and the link is given into the description okay so guys now we want to edit and delete the data so guys now in this video we are going to just edit the data okay so guys let's get started with it so before starting i would like to show you that in some just three four previous videos that we have created department so inside that department i have created edit option so the page is already created so i'm going to use this page only and edit the data according to the fields right so guys uh, let's get started with it so get back to the code and this is the admin panel so guys uh, this is the department list which i am viewing it so that is like this is the department list so department list dot php and this is the table department list dot php and this is my simple table right and this is the edit option into the td tag right so edit and delete option is given over here so guys now i'm going to create a page called department category edit not category list edit department category list ka edit okay done so guys now i am going to change the name called department category list edit button right and the id will be the same that we are using the while loop and fetching over here id and the input name is edit right so guys now let us take the create this page called dot php file so inside this admin panel i am going to create a new file department category list edit okay so this is the file and in previous videos we have already done with some things so i'm just going to copy and paste those things and i will tell you that how it's working it okay so guys nothing to worry in this it's very simple thing i'll just remove the form only itself so you don't need to worry about it okay so this is the tag so just out so there is nothing in it now simple container card row file body and this is the border body tag so now the important thing is over here okay so when you click and this is the closing of the php right so if statement is started for each loop is started over here so guys now let's get started with the work okay department list so when you are going to click this button edit button so when i'm going to click this edit button it is going to department category list with the post method with this input field called edit id so let us go to department category list edit dot php list edit dot php i have come over here and now so this is my button name so what is my button name control c copy this and paste it over here done and this is the input which i am getting edit id so this is the input edit id and storing into id and getting the data of what the department category list so the department category list the data is okay so i am going to call my table name over here to edit the data from this okay so do not get confused it's a simple way if you are seeing from the part one of this category list okay the link is given into description where you can see fetch add and this is the edit and update option okay so guys now i'm fetching the data with the id where id okay dollar id and passing the mysql query function with the connection and the query statement to execute this simple so after using this i'm going to use for each loop to get the data from this and display into array format okay so this is my form and i have divided the php code 
uh, two segregation and then inside this i am going to paste my form so guys i have already designed the form which is done already into the adding thing right so i'm just going to copy the same thing so let's uh, just get back and to our department list so at the top we have the form so i'm just going to copy the form control c get back and this is my form and this is my cancel and update button so just paste it over here done simple so guys no need to get confused in this it's a simple thing the form i have fetched and displayed it in this format okay so this is the list name that is name description section okay so name description section and the department category id or name okay that is over here department category that is category id or name okay so guys now in this we are going to fetch the thing right whatever the data is there so that these datas so we have already coded with that so we don't need to rewrite it again so whatever there is perfect so guys now the main thing we are going to edit this okay so after this you should get the data into this right in this edit form so when i click this edit button all this data should come over into the next form right so guys, let's work on with it and uh, yes guys so uh, suppose i have clicked where is the my table okay when i click this button edit button it is going with the id and fetching that with that help of id i am fetching all the data okay so this is my id and fetching all the data from this category list so guys now let us fetch the data from this table so first we don't need this because it's already given okay or else you can fetch that id and then display into this format also right so, but we don't need this so we just keep the as casual whenever we see the data we should update by the category also so guys so for now and we will give the value over here right v a l u e value that is php open and close so let's echo dollar row of what dollar row of which one this dollar row okay so you are using two dollar row dollar row is over here also and over here also so it might get clashed okay so what we are going to do is this we will make this as dollar row editing okay so let us copy this dollar row editing and make it over here dollar row editing this is the name so i'm just going to put the name okay copy and paste it paste done so guys this is the description description section and the section okay so these names are nothing but from the table whatever name description not this category list okay description id name description and section right name description and section and the categories which we are going to fetch from this that is the default one which we have stored into the output okay guys and we are getting the id also right so that through this help of id we will update the data into this table okay so guys now let us uh, the name is given updating id and the data is fetched that is row so this is not row actually this is row editing so just be careful with this because if you keep this also row this also row it might get clashed so for that we will use different names okay so guys this is set now and now when i click this update button 
the data should get updated so before uh, doing updating part we will just check out with the editing option so control r reload and let's click on edit so let us see ba and this is ba course section a so let's hit on edit so you can choose the category whatever it is that is common arts ba and it is telling undefined description i mean undefined index that is description why okay i think descript it is so we have given the wrong name so let us type d e s c r i p descript so let's reload continue yes guys so the data is fetched correctly and now when i click update it should go update the data and go back to the correct page okay so guys and when i click cancel where it should go department category list which is this department list dot php so guys let us just put that into the place of cancel button when i click cancel it should go to department list so guys now let us update this so department category update so just copy this button name and all the data will be going by their name section description and the category id department category id with the updating id also so when i click this uh, that current updated id should go into the where code.php file so guys where is the code.php file open save and let us type the code for updating it okay so this was for the insertion and now let us type for the updating one right so guys as simple we have to set a set function with the dollar post with the button name that we just now copied it okay from the category edit form file okay so this is the common thing which we copied it and then all the names of the input field we have to call it okay so let us just call it dollar updating id is equal to dollar underscore post of updating id so i'm just going to call the all the fields so guys i have pasted all the fields correctly okay with the id name description and the section right so guys now let us type the query also so i have already done it so i'm just going to paste the code over here so i'll paste it as simple i'll tell create a variable okay query and run the command update statement so update what is the data you are going to in which table so this is my category list table name okay so which is from this database category list okay cat department category list table and set what the department id okay department id department category id okay so this is the category id name 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 description 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 so these nothing but the table fields describe and the section so section and the variable section i have called it where with this updating id i have to call the updating id over here right so paste it and then finally you have to run this statement with the help of mysql query function where you are going to get dollar connection and the query whatever you have created it right and then simple thing i am going to check this condition if the dollar is saved then updated and redirect to department list.php else department not updated with the department list.php with the status and success message okay so guys now let us check with it and let us see the output so guys now let us get back control r so this is the department of arts right i am going to change it department of commerce okay let's edit it let's check department arts De it is there so we will make it department of commerce and we'll take we'll make it as bcom professional okay this will be section c 
so we'll just copy this and paste it become professional and let us update okay now hit update let us see boom the data category is updated so we can see here department of commerce become professional become and it is c so guys finally we have completed with this edit and update edit and then update with the data okay so guys um in this video that's it we have completed with the editing part of the category list and next in next video we will complete with the deleting part also okay so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share